This meteorite hit a lady, Alabama resident Ann Hodges, 70 years ago today. She sort of became instantly a meme for the 1950s. You're not the lady that the meteor fell on, are you? <laughs> Imagine you are lying in your bed, and this comes through the roof and hits you. Luckily, the meteorite bounced off her radio before hitting her, so she was only bruised. Just this year, they pinpointed where they think that meteorite came from. Mm. The first early clue was the trajectory. If you trace back the path of these types of meteors, you're led to the asteroid belt. But there are millions of asteroids. Which one specifically launched this meteorite? The second clue came from chemistry. Mm -hmm. Is that what it looks like up close? Yeah, so when this rock was part of a larger asteroid, it would have been shielded from cosmic rays. Mm. But after some giant collision knocked it into space, those cosmic rays would have started to create new isotopes inside it. And the accumulation of those isotopes could tell scientists that these meteorites were floating through space for five to eight million years. Mm. Scientists analyzed orbital data to find a family of asteroids called Coronis that had a big collision in that time frame. It seems like that collision launched out a bunch of tiny fragments of rock that floated through space for millions of years until one of them hit Ann Hodges while she was napping. Follow Howtown for more stories of how humans figure things out.